Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we're going to cover how sympathetic innervation reaches structures in the head. So to do this we are going to start off by drawing a diagram and our first fibres are going to come from a structure known as the hypothalamus. So we're going to pop that at the top and we're going to draw a little box around it. And of course the hypothalamus is involved in a number of different functions, limbic functions, homeostasis, but we're interested in the contribution to the sympathetic nervous system. And it's going to leave in a tract, so the nerve fibres that control sympathetics are going to leave in a tract called the dorsal longitudinal fasciculus, and I'm just going to abbreviate that as DLF. And those fibres are going to reach the brain stem. We're going to put brainstem there, and in particular, they're actually going to relay through part of the brainstem called the reticular formation. I'm going to abbreviate that as RF on the diagram. From here, we have a new tract that's formed, which is actually part of what we would call the reticulospinal tract, so RST. This is an extra pyramidal pathway that has its cell bodies located inside the brainstem in this diffuse area known as the reticular formation and from there the reticulospinal tract carries sympathetic nerve fibers down to the spinal cord and of course in the spinal cord we're going to represent the spinal cord here we have fibers coming from T1 all the way down to L2 and that's where we'd expect to see cell bodies of sympathetic neurons inside the spinal cord and this kind of catches up with probably your understanding so far in terms of sympathetics because it's from these cell bodies and let's just pop a few on it's these cell bodies that would actually send out fibers that would enter into just draw those a bit longer into the sympathetic chain so we can draw on the sympathetic chain here and fibers would enter the sympathetic chain either synapse in there and go off the structures like the heart or possibly relay through pre-aortic ganglia like the celiac ganglion and various other structures in the body but we're interested in how those fibers get to the head so we would have a preganglionic fiber which we're going to draw in red so red down here equals pre so we're going to have a preganglionic fiber that's going to leave from here having been informed by these structures above and by the dorsal longitudinal fasciculus and relaying onto the reticular spinal tract that's cover covering the descending aspect of the sympathetic innervation. And we're going to see a fibre come into the sympathetic chain. And it's going to ascend, and the sympathetic chain actually ascends much higher than the level of T1. And when it does, it goes into the neck, and eventually there's a couple of ganglion, but we're going to go right to the top ganglion and draw, draw a little nodule just to represent that and we're going to draw our preganglionic neuron going all the way up there and synapsing there onto a postganglionic neuron. So here we've got postganglionic. And the postganglionic neuron is going to leave the superior cervical ganglion, so superior cervical ganglion. We're going to put SCG for superior cervical ganglion and these fibers are then actually going to wrap around the internal carotid artery. So let's draw that on. So that's our internal carotid artery in there. Internal carotid artery. And these fibers are going to form a plexus around that artery in order to enter into the head via the carotid canal and follow the course of the internal carotid artery into the head and then leave there to go off and supply structures with sympathetic innervation. Obviously, most notably, we need sympathetic innervation going to the dilator pupillae muscle in the eye. And of course, this will cause dilation of the eye and oppose the parasympathetics, which travel from the eddinger westphal nucleus associated with the ocular motor nerve that go to the constrictor pupillae muscle and cause constriction of the pupil. Okay, that's it from me. See you next time. Subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.